Alright, so we're going to do a quick little screencast here using Screen Toaster for how to create a Toondo uh, from the page. Go to the three colored columns there. That's the Toondo Maker. And when you click on that, it will open a new window. And in that new window will be, uh, first of all, a choice of panels. You can have a one, two, or three panel layout. I just grabbed a two. Various different backgrounds to choose from. So you can go through and find what you're looking for, just a drag and drop. If you don't like it, you just drag something else on top of it. You're able to also just delete the background as well, but you can only have one background, so if you just drag and drop a new one. I'm going to use one of these goofy outer space backgrounds, and uh, you can add props if you like. I'm going to go ahead and get some characters. Since I'm doing this outer space thing, I need to go to the one that has some aliens in it. Um, I know where they are at the end of this list, so I'll just jump there. And I'm going to grab uh, some goofy looking alien guy. And then I can move him around. I can make him larger or smaller just by clicking the buttons down there. And uh, change his posture. And find one that I like. And uh, then I need somebody for him to talk to. So I'll grab this. Uh, looks like a little female alien to me and I can flip her around to face him, move, drag and drop, move him around however I like. I could add props here now if I want to. Uh, but let's say what I really just want to do is get some word bubbles in here. So I just drag and drop one of the word bubbles, go ahead and type what goofy thing I'm going to have him say, move that around wherever I like it. Same thing with a little pointer. That will also is can be sized, so I can make it larger or smaller as the case may be. And so now if I'm uh, basically done here with the first panel, I could start the second panel from scratch, or I could uh, just go up here to this little clone tool and recreate the same thing and then just change it however I like. So this time I'm going to have her say something instead of him. And so I'll just select that text and type in something different. And uh, move it around to get it in the right spot. I can change their postures just so they look a little different than they did in the first one. And uh, again, I can add more, put more characters in, props in, whatever I want. And if I'm happy with that, all I need to do is close it. And so I would go up and hit save. And it would save my Tundu to my account.